Russia didn't expect this, and neither did anyone in the halls of the Pentagon. At dawn, December 26, 2024, on a frosty test runway in Shenyang, the ground crew froze as the world's most secretive fighter, the J-50, roared to life. The sharp snap of afterburners cut through the morning haze, but what truly made heads turn wasn't the sound. It was the sight, a 66-foot body, no tail, wings shaped like the Greek letter lambda, and wingtips rotating a full 360 degrees. And as China's J-50 broke cover, military analysts across three continents went silent. This was a stealth jet nobody thought possible at such speed. And what happened next left the West and its adversaries stunned. The J-50, China's stealth jet shaking the skies. Before we understand what shocked the world on that runway, let's set the stage. The J-50 isn't just another fast aircraft, it's a pivot point in military aviation. For perspective, the US F-35 program took 20 years to field. The F-22 took 15. China, meanwhile, moved from the J-20 to the J-50, a full generational leap in just eight short years. Its lambda wings reduce supersonic drag by 35%, allowing Mach 2 speeds without guzzling fuel. And those 360-degree spinning wingtips? There's nothing like them operational anywhere else. This isn't some black project. It's China's open declaration of technological independence. Equipped with a completely internal weapons bay and guided by an optional AI pilot, the J-50 signals to the globe, we make the rules now. And that has governments scrambling for answers. You might think this is just the next step in China's ongoing arms race, but that misses the depth. In the 1990s, the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAAF, flew near obsolete MiG-21 copies. Engines were all imported. Homegrown innovation lagged decades behind. But everything changed after 1999, when fragments of a downed F-117 Nighthawk stealth jet found their way from Yugoslavia to Chinese engineers. Dissecting the remains, they cracked radar-absorbing materials, stealthy geometries, and critical airflow design. The transformation came in four clear phases. First, China license-produced Russian airframes like the J-11, a Su-27 clone. Then, it mastered reverse engineering, spawning the J-15 and J-16. The leap to originality followed, with the J-20, then the export-oriented J-31. By 2024, the J-50's arrival wasn't imitation, it was innovation. The jet's radical design merges three control surfaces into one system, ditching tails entirely for 360-degree mobile wingtips. This meant fewer moving parts, less risk of failure, and far higher readiness rates. By February 2025, the J-50 completed a fully autonomous mission. The pilot stayed hands-off from liftoff to simulated target strike to final landing. AI handled everything. What makes it possible? Advanced boundary layer suction tech. Lambda wings for maneuverability and stealth. An engine array pushing out 22,000 pounds of thrust each but on a lighter airframe than the F-22. Notably, the J-50's radar signature is estimated at less than half of the F-35's from certain angles. Super cruise at Mach 1.5 without afterburners. Check. Operational range? 4,000 kilometers, enough to cover the vital South China Sea, Taiwan Strait, and beyond. And this didn't go unnoticed by American or European defense planners. Before we continue, if military technology fascinates you, type SHIELD in the comments and hit subscribe for the most detailed deep dives in defense tech. Meanwhile, adversaries were not blind to the threat. Pentagon analysts pored over J-50 photos, initially suspecting digital fakes. But NATO's radar logs soon confirmed something. Patrols over the South China Sea were getting pinged by something silent, something new. In Pentagon simulations dating to 2024, a hypothetical engagement was run. Four F-35s on cap failed to detect two J-50s launching PL-21 missiles from 150 miles out, assisted by swarms of CH-7 drones. The outcome? Three of four F-35s neutralized before their AESA radars even lit up. The J-50s remained undetected at that range. Its signature seemingly vanished from all but the most sensitive early warning systems. 
Western analysts quote, We're now facing distributed lethality on a level we can't counter with existing networks. Reportedly, the real headache isn't just the jet itself, but the swarm doctrine the PLAF is developing. A piloted J-50 commanding five or more AI-helmed sister ships, each able to vector and coordinate strikes in perfect concert. The implications are staggering. U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, is fast-tracked with a $30 billion budget and first flights by 2030. Europe's Tempest program targets 2035, but already trails development milestones by over a decade. Russia, locked out by budget woes and low Su-57 production rates, isn't even in the running. What they discovered changed everything. J-50 isn't just stealthy, its software elevates it into a new realm. The onboard artificial intelligence boasts 2.4 petaflops of computational power a scale double that attributed to the human brain and vastly superior to the F-35's processor suite. In hypothetical air-to-air -air engagements, J-50's AI recognizes, tracks, and prioritizes up to 50 targets in real time, optimizing routes and weapon allocations automatically. The pilot's role is largely strategic now. The machine makes tactical calls, threat detection, missile launches, route changes, within 0.3 seconds compared to the 5 to 8 seconds needed by human pilots in American jets. This isn't just theoretical. In the same year, China ran an exercise, pairing J-20s with drone swarms for perfect coordination. The US response? If this scales, air superiority calculus changes overnight. In fact, this loyal wingman doctrine, one pilot, many AI jets, means China can risk fewer lives, field bigger formations, and force adversaries to split attention across a dozen fast-moving attackers. And since 2024, it's no longer just lab demos. This concept's been tested, and worked, in exercises over the South China Sea. Subscribe now, because what comes next is even more shocking. The strategic consequences for the world's most powerful militaries. China's mass production target for the J-50 is 2030 with projections of 20 to 50 units in operational service. At that point, the U.S. may still have only two to three NGAD prototypes. In the Pacific, scenario modeling by military analysts shows 20 piloted J-50s could lead 80 unmanned variants, risking just 20 lives versus the U.S. and allies needing to risk up to 60 pilots at a time. One analyst puts it plainly, In 2035, if China deploys 106th gen fighters, most unmanned, real air superiority might shift east. Budget constraints and fractured consortium leadership are already delaying Europe's programs. Industry insiders estimate that FGAS, France, Germany, Spain, could slip to 2040 before deployment. The once predictable cadence of next generation fighter deployments is now scrambled. Even countries like Turkey, poised to fly its own can by 2028, are at a crossroads, join the US F-35 program, risk a tech transfer alliance with China, or gamble on rapid upgrades with Europe's lagging Tempest effort. No easy answers are left on the table. Expert forecasts break down like this. New Cold War scenario, US-China arms race. 60% probability. Chinese air dominance, US recedes in the Pacific. 25%. Restored balance. U.S. closes gap via NGAD, tech parity, just 15%. The details of China's exact doctrine and capabilities remain classified, but the ripple effects are growing. Procurement cycles will accelerate, defense budgets will balloon, and neutral powers may get forced to take sides for the first time in decades. Above all, remember one thing. The J-50 isn't just a new jet. It's a declaration that China no longer needs Western tech to rewrite the rules. So, do you believe America can close the gap, or will China claim air superiority, maybe as soon as 2030? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe and watch out for the next video, where we break down America's answer, the NGAD. See you soon.